Hello everyone, my name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to BISP Self Learning, Learning Viewable Broadcast Solution. Today I am going to demonstrate you how to set up site on Salesforce and how to publish a VF page on that site so that it can be accessed by our outside, our outside customers and they can save data directly into an object into a Salesforce. So let's switch to Salesforce and see how to set up a site. So to set up a site, first of all, you need to log in into Salesforce. And uh, my scenario is I have got a talent management application. It's a custom application. And my requirement is I would like to create a new candidate record into this candidate object. So there are various fields like we have first name, last name, date of birth, phone, and email ID. And I will be going to provide a form to a customer in the form of a VF page on, on a site and when a user, when a customer who is not a proper, who is not a registered user of my application so they can sa save the data directly into this candidate object by using site.com. So first of all, let's see how to register a site or how to create a site and then we'll see how to publish a VF page on that site. So for this, I click on setup. Then for here, I look for site and under develop, we have sites. So I click on sites. I give a name here. So I'll check BISP talent management. Click on check availability. So it is. it says that it is available. So the complete URL for the website will be http colon double slash BISP talent management hyphen developer hyphen edition dot ap2 dot force dot com. I'll check this and click on register my force dot com domain. It says that once you register, you will not be able to modify your force dot com domain name. So once the domain name is registered, once the site is registered, we cannot delete it. We cannot modify it. The domain name cannot be modified. We can add the web pages onto it but we cannot delete this domain name or we cannot audit edit that domain name so i click on ok and that domain name gets gets registered that's the domain name that's you can see you can see here it's a site url so this site url we will be make it available to our users So if I directly click on this site URL or the URL which we are going to provide to our customers. So if I clicked on this, I'll got an error message that it is down for maintenance because it is down for maintenance. If you see the status, status is not active right now. Now in this domain, we need to add a website or a web page. So for this, I'm going to create a new VF page and that VF page I will be going to publish on this website. So let's create a VF page. So let's see how to set up a VF page. So I've already explained in my previous examples how to set up a VF page. So I create here apex slash candidate register. So it gives an error message that this candidate register page or visual force page does not exist. So I click on this link and it will create a candidate register page or a visual force page within my application. And after that, I can customize it. So the VF page has created. So let's customize this. And uh, so for customization, I expand this and I divide this section, this is clean into two, two parts. Uh, first is the output. Second one is for coding for the code for this particular VF page. So we'll get a default code. So I'm going to delete this default code and I'm going to write my own code. So because my requirement is I would like to save the record into candidate. So for this, first of all, let me check the field names and the their field labels and field names because we are going to use the field names or the API names in our programming and our VF page programming. So I look for the fields. And the field names are we have got here the API names basically because field name is for standard fields and API names is for custom fields. So we have all these field names and we are going to use this custom field names or API names in our program. So right here, I am going to create a controller here to control it. Controller and I write candidate 
register class apex colon form apex colon page block apex colon page block section I give title title is equal to new candidate registration and in this page block section I write apex colon input field value is equal to and candidate dot first we want first name underscore underscore C so I copy paste this then I want last name so I'll just we have how many fields are there we have one two three four five fields so I copied five, four times more so three four five for all fields this is first name then I want the second field is last underscore name underscore underscore C so I paste it third I want is email ID so I copy email ID and paste it here then I want date of birth so I paste. date of birth then I want phone so phone underscore underscore C. after that I need a button so I add a button apex colon page block buttons and in this page block button I add apex colon command button value is equal to save and action is equal to save record when I try to save this I'll got an error message this controller does not exist so I'll create this controller and within this controller so within this controller class first I write public and I initialize this candidate instance here so I write public candidate underscore underscore C is the object API name so that's the object API name so right candidate and candidate and get and set the then I write public and it's a constructor so I create a new constructor here and in this constructor I initialize the object so I write candidate is equal to new candidate underscore underscore C after that when I save it again I'll got an error message save record but because this action is not a predefined action in visual Code, so we need to create our own action so I clicked on this link and a method a new method will be created in this apex class in this controller class and if you see the return type will be the page reference so about page reference you can visit my existing my previous existing video or the previous video about page reference what is page reference and how to use it so in this page reference first of all I give a command insert and candidate so it will create a new candidate record and then I create a new instance of page reference PR is equal to new page reference and I would like to my tra transfer the U control to fx colon thank you page so if this page does not exist so we need to create this page first and in return PR so when I save it you will see that we have got all the fields first name last name date of birth email ID phone and when we clicked on this it will save the record it will insert a new record into candidate object and the control will redirect it to thank you page so first of all we need to check whether this thank you page exists or not so for to check this I click on setup and here I write apex slash thank you page so if this page exists it's okay if this page does not exist we'll be going to create that page so you can see the pages already exist and there are a few existing code into it so I'm going to remove the code the existing code and simple I don't want any controller and all and I simply write thanks for submitting your record and save it So I got this message 
now i would like to publish this page on the site which we have created just now so let's see how to publish this vf page on a site or the newly registered site so to publish that vf page or the page which we have created on our registered website again i need i'll switch to sites i switch to sites under develop sites and here i clicked on new button so i click on new and here you can see the site label so i give a site label new candidate registration tra tin registration site contact default web address make sure to make it active and the active site home page so active site home page will be the vf page which we created just now so i clicked on this and from the list from the available list i will be going to look for the vf page which we created just now so that's the vf page which we created just now candidate registered so i select this page if the page is if the website is unavailable it will redirect it to a in maintenance page so this is a default page if you want to give your own error message if you want to display your own page you can add that page here at that's a site template and at last simply click on save so once it is activated we need to test it and before test it before testing this url or the domain name which we have created just now we need to make some changes in public access setting so that we can the users they can easily access the specific pages so as you can see here we have site visual force pages so we need to click on edit this and this will help us that what visual force pages we would like to allow this particular site url to be accessed so if, if you can see here uh, the candidate registered is added so need, make sure that the vf page of the candidate registered and the thank you page will be listed here if they are not added you need to add from the available visual force pages section onto this enable visual force page section once they are added here save it and now you can simply click on preview so you can click on preview directly here or you can click on preview here as well so once i have done once I'll, i have done with this i simply click on view and i can check the preview of this website so you can see here the that's the url the site url which we created and that's the vf page now in this vf page we enter the data so I enter sam a dummy record and email id sam at the rate gmail.com and i mentioned date of birth 1980 phone number 223300055 and i clicked on save and once i clicked on save it will be redirected to a thank you page so the customer will get only the vf page and the thank you page customer will not be able to get the url no sorry the code the customer will not get the code for this particular page so the code will be hidden from the customer or from the user they will only access the vf page and now let's go back to our visual force and we will check whether the record submitted by the customer is successfully stored or not so i switch to candidate object i'll open a candidate object and and in this candidate object i click on go and check the records so you can see here we have got a new candidate number c0005 and when i expand it when i open this that's the record which user created just now so like this we can provide a url this url directly to our customer to our users and through this they can directly store the data into a web into an object into salesforce so that's all in this video if you have any queries if you have any question or answer you can visit our website www.bisptrainings.com please subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on salesforce have a nice day ahead goodbye